Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and today we are going to be looking at the top 50 tracks from Monster Cat in 2023. The best of compilation is out, and uh, you know, I uh, I haven't seen anything. I, I really honestly have not seen the list here. I've been trying to be spoiler free. There's a couple that got spoiled for me and stuff, but uh, I've been trying to stay pretty spoiler free. So I'm very excited to see what this list is. This is my first reaction initial look at the list, the full 50 list, and now that it's all out collectively. Um, but yeah, this year Monster Cat did 30 from Uncaged, 10 from Instinct, and 10 from Silk uh, to go along with a release schedule of 311 throughout a week. So that makes a lot of sense. I get it. That is good brand representation throughout the different um, little brands they have. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get into this. Uh, before we do that, I am going to give some predictions, though. Again, you have to trust that I haven't seen these before. Um, my predictions, I'm going to give a top three of each uh, individual brand. Uh, and I would say number one for Uncaged, I think, is Accelerate. I think it's the number one across uh, all of uh, the whole voting. I think it's just the number one one, uh, the one that got voted the most. And then I think two is probably Arcadia and three is Powerplay. Uh, those would be my guesses. Uh, yeah, I, I think those are the one, two, three. Uh, Instinct, I think number one is White Lie. It would probably be the second highest, most voted total. Uh, and then High Enough from Grant and then Pondering Minds would would be my third, I would guess. Uh, and then Silk, I do think Cloud Cage ran away with it. I think we've got more than this, number one. I think we've got Calling, number two. And I think we've got uh, K-Means Clustering as number three. So those would be my guesses uh, for the top three of each individual brand. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. Let's see what the uh, compilation is like. Um, so at number 50, we've got Mapango by Prof. Um, Great. I don't have a ton of opinions on the Silk stuff because I don't listen to it a ton. I, I obviously listen to it, but uh, not on repeat as much as I do some other uh, brands um, from Instinct and uh, Uncaged stuff. But And then we got Used to Silence by Atlas and Jody Knight. That's one I enjoyed. Uh, and then we got Restless, One Heart, another solid one in Kazuki. Uh, Oasis, Zensei. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be another Zensei on here, but I do think Oasis was one of the more standout ones from him this year. Uh, but Oasis is there. Then we got Other Side, the Factor B's in Memory, uh, in Loving Memory remix. Okay, that was one that I uh, thought was was one of the better Silk ones this year, I gotta say. Uh, and then let's see, next we've got Golden, uh, Oracle. Yeah, I assume there's gonna be some Oracle track, and Golden probably would have been my guess. Um, if I was really thinking about it. And then at uh, 44 is Kamin's Clustering. Okay, so that is, um, although is that, well, is that number four? It's the <laughs> fourth top track uh, from Silk. So I missed that a little bit. So uh, and then my guess is, let's see what's next. We've got, okay, Calling, Mango, Cloud Cage, and Matt Sky. So uh, Calling got number three. Cloud Cage, Mango hit number three. And let's see, number two is... Oh, Sapphire by Aether. I forgot about the Aether. The Moonstone EP. I love that EP. I thought it was solid. I should have um I should have predicted that. I should have I should have actually guessed that because I really enjoyed that. So uh, and then number one, it's gotta be more than this, right? That would be my guess. Okay, more than this, Mango and Cloud Cage. And so uh, I'm wondering now, are they just gonna do like the top 30? Are they just gonna do the the like top 10 uncaged or silk and then instinct and then uncaged? I'm curious to see how it's gonna go from here because my guess is this is by total votes and Silk would just be the last 10 of the 50 because it's just not as popular as the other brands are. And so uh, it's not to say that the music isn't as good. It's just not as popular. And so that's why I think they would be in the later latter half here. But uh, let's see, 40, we've got No Service, Vendata. Okay. I remember that one being good, but not um, too standout for me. But uh, way to go, Vendata. Way to make it on the list here. Uh, up next, we've got uh, Full Speed by Toppy or Topi and Have. I'm surprised this one isn't higher. Um, I'm actually really surprised it isn't higher. And this does say now at this point we are going total votes. Um, and so this would be the, the 40th top voted and 39 top voted. So uh, Full Speed, okay. Uh, I, I would have assumed that one would have been much higher. That one's a little bit too niche for me, I would say. But uh, I did think it was uh, a solid track. And so let's see it up next. We got Neck Snap, Company, and Boss Fight. I do kind of want to do a mini, um, what is this? That's one for Boss Fight right now, right? That's that's the first for Boss Fight. I'm sure Boss Fight's going to be all over this list because he always is. So uh, then let's see. Up next, we got Stereo, Tokyo Machine. Okay, a newer track making it on. Um, this is a, yeah, this is quite the new track. And so I'm surprised this uh, did make it on. I don't know if that's recency biased or uh, it is a great song. I do think it's solid, but I think there were some better ones for Tokyo Machine this year, which I guess will... Uh, maybe see later on the list here. So let's go. 36, Quantum Level, AU5, and Prismatic. Yep, solid track. That one I might have probably put a little bit higher in holistically for the year. 
uh, with you, Affinity, Roy Knox, and Skyel. One that I wasn't huge on, um, but I can see the, the power in that one for a bunch of people. Justify, no mana and voicitions or voicians. I'm not sure how to ever say his name correctly, but uh, okay. That one is a little actually lower than I expected or like it's, I thought it was going to be higher up in the list. Um, no mana just, it just cleans house on these often. So uh, that's a solid one though. Uh, Revenge, Dirty Phonics and Boss Fight. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's number two for Boss Fight. Uh, let's see, X32 is Nova. Okay, Mazare and Living Stun uh, Crane. Uh, one, again, one that I wasn't too solid on, but one that I totally understand why it's on this list. Uh, let's see, nice, 31. I'll be waiting, Ace, Aura, Nazar, uh, and Danny King. Uh, solid, solid track in that one. And uh, let's see, move back, crank that, and savage. Yep, I'm. I'm assuming there's more crank that as well. Is the diesel track going to be up there? Um, I wonder. I, my guess is another crank that would be the diesel one. I think that might be the only other one that's uh, up here. Uh, let's see, every little thing, Conroe. Yes, absolutely killer. Um, great Conroe track. Uh, those are ones that I just didn't vote for, but I really would have. If I had extra votes, I would have gone for a Conroe one. So uh, that makes me happy. Uh, Valhalla, Fool and Have, the meme galore <laughs> track that was Valhalla. And uh, yeah, solid one. I would have put Machine up on the list, and maybe it is here, but I think that was uh, one of the best ones from the uh, Fool record that came out, but uh, still a solid pick. Uh, let's see, same thing. Yes, same thing. Made it. Same thing, Direct and Anika Nadeu. I thought this song was a bit of a sleeper, and uh, I'm really happy to see it just almost crack the uh, top half. But uh, same thing, beautiful track. Uh, go listen to it again if you have not in a little while. Snakes and Ladders, Kuro and Bianca. One of my uh, more favorite Kuro tracks as of late, too. So I'm, I'm happy this one made the list, and that is one that I am uh, all for, yes. Uh, Deadlock, Boss Fight and Have. Yep, another, that's, I think that's number three for Boss Fight now. Uh, one that I probably would have expected to be higher up. Um, also, I never realized how many collaborations Boss Fight really did this year. Um, I feel like Boss Fight normally doesn't do a ton of collabs, but there was a ton of collabs from Boss Fight this year. I guess he was just taken off one way or another, so... Oh, 24 Pondering Minds, just a gent and Kai. Okay, that is lower than, like, it's it's not as high up as I expected. Um, I really expected that to be, like, top 10 for sure, but I wonder if there's not a ton of instinct left. I haven't counted how many instinct we're at yet, but um, okay, Pondering Minds. Fantastic track, one that I personally didn't vote for, um, but one that I uh, really did enjoy, so, okay. <sighs> really? The whistle made it? Blow the whistle? Why? <laughs> I thought this one was a weird one. I did not like this on the EP. I like the other tracks, but I did not like Blow the Whistle. Okay. Shocked by that, but okay. Uh, I mean, Crank That's a big name, household name now, but um, okay, okay. Uh, happy song, Ray Volpe. Yep, that one makes sense. Uh, another one that I am not too much of a fan of, but one that I know a lot of people really enjoyed. So uh, that makes lots of sense for me. Uh, happy song. Let's see. 21 tonight. Way to go, Nanobi. Making the list. Um, that is, uh, yeah, that's that's big. That's big for Nanobi. That was a big um, comeback track of sorts. So Wait, that was that was the comeback track um, for Monster Cat. Uh, then let's see, 20 is Bang Your Head, Diesel, and Heritage. Yes, 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 one of my favorites. Probably my favorite from the uh, Diesel LP. And I I don't know if the Cranked Out one's going to be on there. I think Bang Your Head might be higher, so I think that might be the only Diesel track from this year would be my guess. Okay, let's see. Uh, number 19, though, is Kingslayer, Mazare. Yep, uh, didn't listen to a ton of Mazare this year, but uh, always up there on the lists. Eight Narcissist, Fiji. That was one. Wow. I'm actually shocked this made it because I'm a huge Fiji fan and I didn't vote for Narcissist this year. That was one of the ones that just didn't make the, the cutting, the chopping block. Um, but one that I was like, ah, I just don't think maybe as many people fell in love with this one as much. But okay, I'm really happy to see Fiji all the way up here. Um, that is fantastic. Love Fiji, love Narcissist. I think that's a great track. 17, Land of the Living, Bad Computer and Bianca, yep, uh, I mean, I've, I'm sure there's going to be some more Bad Computer even coming up too, oh, I forgot about Calling Us, I think Calling Us might be in the top tracks, oh, I even voted for that, did I? I think I even voted for that, okay, I think that might actually be up up there, uh, let's see though, let's keep going, Buckshots, 
boss fight. That one would have been my prediction for um, second highest other than power play. I personally don't think power play should be in the top 15, but I think it will just off of name power alone. Um, but Buckshots is another one. And is that four or five for boss fight? I can't remember up to this point, but that's kind of crazy. Uh, far out Tokyo Machine. Okay. Yep. Uh, that was a solid one as well. I think this was probably my favorite Tokyo Machine of the year. Um, I thought Far Out was uh, a, a pretty solid track. So, okay, let's keep it moving. Uh, Fall Apart, Sullivan King and Excision, that one I did enjoy of all the Sullivan King tracks this year. Um, I liked Watch the Throne uh, better, the, the, the first track, or no, uh, whatever the first one was from, uh, from the LP, uh, I like that one better, but I do think Fall Apart was one of the better ones from, uh, the, uh, the LP as well. So way to go, Sullivan King, uh, the law fool and pilot. Yes. That one makes lots of sense. The return of pilot after a long hiatus from monster cap. And, uh, one of the first singles, uh, I think this one was announced alongside the LP as well from the fool. So, uh, solid track, solid, solid, solid love in this list. Uh, Lightbringer, Skybreak, the first Skybreak, uh, to land on this list so far, um, which is, I think, a, I think that means the rest of Skybreak's just going to run through the list because I think, I thought Lightbringer was of the, wait, four, four tracks, the weakest of, like, it's still a great song, but I just think it was the, like my least favorite of the four, like one I still listen to all the time, but I just like the other ones better. Um, so wow, like Skybreak might just run through this list. Let's see. Uh, number 11, uh, blank, hello world, Luma, JT Roach used to losing you. Yep. Uh, that one makes a ton of sense. That was one of the ones that I liked quite a bit, um, that I thought was solid for blank. I thought I liked the more kind of, uh, I don't know, more emotional tune to that one that felt melodic, but not too niche. So way to go used to losing you and uh, we're hit into the top 10 so let's see what we got for a top 10 we've got arcadia pixel terror and ace aura that one i thought was gonna be the number two from uncaged so uh yeah is this like a is this number like ooh, six seven eight then i can't i don't know how many we're at for instinct at this point but um okay yeah solid track one that i think is fantastic and i'm glad to see it hit the top 10 and uh let's move into another uh, thrones of blood Yes, uh, that one I should have seen coming. Um, my, my one that I didn't really love as much from the Sullivan King LP, but I know a lot of you guys really resonated with that one. So uh, yes, Thrones of Blood. Not surprised that one's here at number nine. Uh, let's see, number eight, Hero Grabbits. Okay, Grabbits landed on the list with Hero. Uh, yeah, I was slightly underwhelmed from Let Them Only See Butterflies uh, from the Grabbits LP, but uh, this was definitely one of the better tracks from the LP, and I'm glad to see it hit the top 10. Grabbits, always a treat. Uh, let's see number seven here. We've got, okay, now we've got Power Play, Pig Runners, and Boss Fight. Again, one that I really didn't think was an individually incredible track, but I think there's just name power alone of Pigboard Nerds and Boss Fight. I think um, there's no surprise it landed up on this list. Is that also the first Pegboard Nerds on the list so far? I think it might be. That's a pretty uh, <laughs> pretty low year for only getting one song in the top <laughs> 10 up to this point. So there might be more. I can't remember... I don't think there's another one uh, above uh, that, though. So let's see. Number six, Feeling Free. Heck yes. Uh, absolutely incredible track. Loved this one, Cloud Nun and Skybreak. Um, this one might land on my personal top 10 for the year, just straight up. Um, loved the track. Loved the collaboration. Loved the style. Loved the tone. Loved the kind of uh, hard, more future garage sound. Um, great, great, great. And let's head into the top five. Let's see. We've got, okay, we do have Calling Us, Bad Computer, David Feldman, and Jordan Grace. That one makes a lot of sense for, um, yeah, that was the one I, I remembered in the last one. I'm pretty sure I voted for this one too, but uh, we got four left. I want to see if I can guess them because I've, the ones I've already said. So um, there's got to be Accelerate. Uh, my guess is Accelerate number one. I said White Lie two, High Enough three, and then four. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. There's one more. What am I forgetting? There's a huge track that I think is number four that I'm mentally not. Is it Chroma? Is it Skybreaks Chroma? Is that what it is? Let's see. Number four. Okay. So number four is Grant uh, and Will J with High Enough. Um, yes. Grant Grant will always be in the top list of these. Grant will always be up here. And this song is no exception to be on the list. Uh, let's see what number three is. Number three is, oh, the other side. Yes. How could I forget about the other side? That was what I voted for too. 
Um, but Chroma didn't make it, sadly. Uh, I was I thought Chroma was one of the better ones from Skybreak this year, but oh, I, I guess it it wouldn't it may have reached it, but I'm I'm sure White Lion Accelerator one and two, but uh, maybe just because it was released later on in the year. But I guess stared uh, whatever. But uh, I, I liked Chroma quite a bit. But the other side, and so what's going to be number one? What's going to be number two? I think White Lie is next. It is White Lie. Okay, Haywire, White Lie uh, is your number two, your penultimate song of the year, best of Monster Cat 2023. And uh, number one's got to be Accelerate, right? Like, I'm not losing my mind here. Okay, yeah, Accelerate, Temonite, and uh, Skybreak. That makes tons of sense. Um, but yeah, that is your best of 20. Oh, is that... actually, this is one of the first times I've seen this art, actually. I thought I saw it like blurry. That's a fun artwork for the year. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's a little bit more... I, I like that it's not as rainbowy as they've done in the past, um, which I, I do like. Uh, it's a fun style, but I think they kind of overdid it a little bit, the, too much the rainbow, and then I thought the the last year's cover I actually really enjoyed, too, um, of the different cats, but I like this one a lot, too. That's, that's actually really fun. This is super sweet. But, um, yeah, that is the list. 50 songs, 3 hours, and 3 minutes long. Um, yeah, that is the best of 2023 for Monster Cat. And uh, let me know what you think of the songs. Uh, how many of yours voted, how many of the ones that you voted for make the top list? Um, I'd love to know in the comment section below, and I'd love to know what you thought of the list as a whole. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Brotime Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.